Ooh, ooh, oh, hey, everyone, uh, DDC -D -D with another uh, Advanced Force but by lip replay analysis. Today, we'll be looking at the Nutty Lower Level Series. We're not going too nutty today, though. We're not going Black Bluff. We ain't going Numi Numi. No, we're going to the 1100s. We got two 1100 players today. So we're going to learn a bit from them. They make some good moves. They make some bad moves. They make some moves in between. But we're going to learn from that shit. We're going to be entertained by that shit. So, without further ado, let's look at this map right here. It's called Golden Probe Redux. Now, I don't know what the name means, but this is the Golden Probe. It turns out, Golden Probe is a one base, one airport versus two base map. And with the calm tower on the strong side. However, there is a nice middle area, so it's quite easy to reinforce the strong side. So if you're feeling a little weak on your weak side over here is right, you can just bring your tankies over here, cross the bridge, and then reinforce your units. Another thing about this map, there are some cutoffs though in the bridges, making copters quite viable. You can cut off a unit with this mountain here, get some quick hits in with a copter, then put a unit in front of the copter. Let's say the copter attacks something on the forest, kills it, put a tank in front of it, and you can't kill the copter unless you kill the tank too, or you have another copter to attack it. So there's a lot of nice little strategic bridges you can cut off attacks from, also in the middle over here as well. Pretty standard map over there, I like it. I've actually not played on it before, but I've seen a few games on it. Uh, there's some nice capture chains that go boom, bada boom. Boy, you wanna capture the base first, let's not kid ourselves. You capture their base first, then you capture this or this, and maybe you go for the comm tower with this, 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 I don't know what you're doing. But there's some nice capture chains. High-ish income map, uh, around 2200, I believe, on each side. We'll see for ourselves during the game. Now, let us look at the CO picks. Honestly, three base, two base is always Kindle in tier three, it's almost always Kindle. Three base, Andy has some more viability. Honestly, with this map, there's so many cities and stuff in the middle and the side. I'm leaning towards Kindle on this map. I'm usually an Andy player tier three, maybe Drake, but I love the copters with the cutoffs and the rivers over here, so you're not be using Drake. Lash, let's not kid ourselves, you ain't using Lash. So we got Andy, and we got Kindle left, and Rachel. And there's three bases, so we'll throw Rachel out the window too. So we're only talking about Kindle, we're talking about Andy. Now, uh, I'm a little partial to Kindle in this map. Like I said, a little too many cities. I've actually seen High Society on this map before, that's right. High Society, from the Kindle player, that's right. Hey, might have some viability, who knows? I probably would never use it, but it's there. So, I do think Kindle's quite strong on this map. I do think Andy's not bad though. Maybe a little smidge bit blower in Kindle, but still gonna be an extremely close matchup. So let's talk about these players. Real briefly, Quizzical, the Miserable, the, I don't know, Quizzical, okay, I'm not even gonna try the rhymes. Though. They'll come into me later as the match goes on. So we got Quizzical, 1100 player. We got Zark, 1100 player. So, even matchup. No real rating disparity, so it's going to be as close as you can get. So that tiny little smidge Andy matchup below Kindle might come into play here. Might not. You never know. If you have a banger ass hyper upgrade, maybe you bust through, do a lot of damage. But anyway, without further ado, let us begin at the bottom in the riddies. We got Echo is a gl in the top. Oh, let's let's fix these little shits. We we going the wrong way. Oh hell yeah! Now we're talking. Face the other way, bro. So, first things first. You always go for the base on the strong side. That is just what you do. It doesn't matter if you're missing one cap. Doesn't matter if you're missing two caps. You get in that base first. You need unit count. Unit count, like I always say, more important than unit value. More important than income. So. Recons on this map, not entirely too unviable. Uh, I like recons decently uh, on the sides over here, putting pressure on the weak side, maybe not allowing these two bases to be captured. Um, in the middle, they can be decent. There's shoals and there's roads, but it's pretty easy to reinforce with tanks, so I'm not sure about that. In general, I probably wouldn't go too many recons on this map. This is more of an artillery map and more of a copter map. A lot of choke points for those artilleries, a lot of choke points for those copters. So that's what I would expect to see, at least a couple copters, at least a couple... Uh, uh, artillery. First tank at the top by Zark, and uh, so far we got a recon, a late recon by Quizzical. Kind of um, head scratcher. Builds it late. We're turn five. Usually you see a day three recon. Maybe a day four recon. A day five recon? That's like picking up your kid from school at like 7 p.m. It's like, where's daddy? He's like, I'm here. It's like 7.30. All the counselors hate you. 
That's building a recon on day five. That's just too damn late. Okay. And what do you, what do you got for defense on this? You don't got, there's no, there's no tank to defend this guy and this tank's gonna be plowing through the middle. So we'll see how it goes for him. I'm just saying, I don't know how the recon's going on. So quizzical, a little, a quizzical move, you might say. It might be miserable. Uh, it might be pon he might be pontifical. Uh, he might be just be difficult. But he goes, the ball's on this man. The ball's on this man. This is some Mang's infantry shit. Capping in the face of a tank, got no backup. This guy, no reinforcements coming for you. You're on your own, bud. Uh, he's in for a, a little bit of a, a, a boom boom, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's a free hit. Down to four or five. There you go. No one's got the comm tower quite yet. Looks like, honestly, I'd capture this city over here before I go for the comm tower. Like I said, unless you're having major fights, cities are more important in the beginning uh, stages of the game rather than the comm towers, because you're going to get it eventually. Ain't no big fights going on. So this little wimpy ass tank can reinforce over here. So if he does attack, he will be able to attack from the city. So let's see if he d puts on the, the, the attack over here. Honestly, I don't know how I like this recon. Like. Could he have just done a tank chain here? No, he couldn't afford it. Okay, that would, that would have been nice if he had a tank chain. But Red does have emergency reinforcements, so this tank's better got to shit or get off the pot or whatever, uh, or else he's gonna get a first strike from Red. He actually goes in for the. Actually, I like that he's Kindle. F it, man. You might get a surround though. You might be a little trapped right there. I can see a little tactics. You put a little infantry there. You put an infantry there, and it's trapped. You bring in two, three tanks, and they all gang bang them at the same time and his guts are spilled everywhere. So that, that's a possibility. But I do like the attack, he's Kindle. No one has a comm tower yet. Uh, so if you attack Kindle first on a city, on a comm tower, etc., you're in for a rough time. Doesn't matter if you're first striking, you're gonna be hit back hard. So, Kindle on the offensive so far, as, as is expected. You kinda have to be on the offensive as Kindle because Andy has the better late game. He has the stronger powers in the end. Uh, but Kindle has the early pressure, the early pressure powers, early damage done. Early copter by Red over here, not a bad move, not a bad move. Don't hate it, protects this infantry over there a little bit. Brings in his recon, the late ass recon. Hey son, I'm here. That thing's dead. That thing's dead. Look, it's only gonna lay the airport one single turn. It's gonna cap it next turn and then it's gonna get blasted by that tank. So that was like, that recon was already just a bad buy. And now we're seeing a mech. Honestly, if you're gonna build a mech build here because you can get to the mountain in two turns, but I still don't like the mech here. You could be building tanks or something instead. So you gonna build another recon? Like, he could have built a tank this turn. Like, I don't get that. He could have built a tank, but he opted to get a little shitty mech. I swear, some people have like a quota they want to reach. Like, oh, I gotta build a mech every game or else my dad's gonna beat me. Like, no, no. I don't know why, what's up with the, the dad theme today. Maybe it comes to, I, it never happened to me, I'm just saying. I'm not projecting, I'm just, I don't feel it. Anyway, so Red did get the property over there, but it looks pretty high pressure, and Zark is probably gonna have to retreat. I know it's a bad first strike, but a second strike is gonna kill that, and then the copter's gonna come reinforce. And the thing about Andy, bad first strike, bring it down to five, bring it down to six. Oh, he can just hyper upgrade that shit later on. Brand new, brand new. It's like breaking something at Walmart and, Walmart and you bring it in for the returns. Like, oh, there it is. I want a brand new one. And you get it. So that's just how it is. Antair, a little late. I might have wanted to see that earlier before the copter was built in order to enact some psychological pressure to push Red to not build a copter. Like, well, I dare you to build a copter because I've already built an Antair before you even build a copter. So it disincentivizes building a copter, but it, it's, day, it's day eight. It's early. Usually, like I say, Build them copters day eight to day 10, typically, uh, is a good move. And that's just dumb, because he's gonna kill that tank, and then he's gonna hyper upgrade during his power. That's even dumber though. You just basically sacked that unit that you were gonna hyper, hyper upgrade, so that was just not smart. And then there's, and then there's, oh, didn't cap that either, just, I'll tell you what, forest. Road, dead. And you're good. That's it. That's all there is to it, buddy. Doesn't have to be so difficult, Quizzical. <sighs> Lord have mercy on my soul. Well, I thought there were 1,100 players. Maybe there were 800 at the time of this game. I don't know what the hell this mech shit is. This mech shit doesn't make sense. 
It just doesn't. I don't get it. You're not Sammy. You're not Adder. God, you're not even Cole. Why are you building Max, man? Oh, that's free kill. Tank comes in. Pretty like imagine. You just have a tank. You would never do this random ass attack. But he, he's this is his strong side. This is Red's strong side, and he's he's on the defensive because he built two Max. He didn't build any tanks. He didn't build any artillery. No, no. Oh, you get, got my mechs. <laughs> Operation Mech Storm coming right up. <laughs> Please. Please. Probably learned after this game. Mech's bad. Mech's real bad on a big maps like this. Big map, big map, no mech. Hello? Day 10? How have you not captured that yet? I don't know. What? This is what happens when you build mechs. Minimal pressure. These are unsupported. They're both basically dead because he has no tank support. He has this random ass mech over here on the river and a van by the river. And uh, finally capturing his comm tower about time. Copter coming in. Ooh, that sweet spot. Perfecto. I like that though. But he's getting awfully close to an airport lock. In fact, he does have an airport lock already. So we're not going to see any more copters for a, a good while until that anti-air gets out of position. So. Feisty, uh... Interesting. Gonna... Yeah, I don't know about that. Why not just block here? There, there's some thought behind blocking the tank there. By doing this little weird shenanigan, you're allowing him to... Copter kill, copter kill, tank attacks. What do you... You're literally just a sitting duck. De cluck, diddy cluck. You're about to get cucked. That's just a bad I immediately saw that. Two copters kill the tank, the tank attacks that anti-air, and then you're just good to go. And then you build another B-copter because that thing's weakened. Like, what? Doesn't make any sense. But, when you're an 1100 player, sometimes you make 700 level moves, sometimes you make 1400 level moves. That was a 700 level move right there. Dumb, dumb move. One could consider it nutty. Um, I wouldn't even say that, just bad. But you learn from your mistakes, I hope, maybe. Mm, we'll see. So easy, easy. E why? Why not attack with the tank? Oh, okay. Well, kill the tank, then put this on the city. He's afraid of the tank being attacked by the tank on the city. I understand, but now he's just gonna attack for the tank and kill that, and then it's gonna break through anyway. So, I would have attacked that anti-air personally. Um, oh, okay, I, I, okay, I see which, oh, okay, but he's gonna kill the infantry with that still, and kill your copter. So it was a nice try, and it's also gonna weaken the tank, because it's on there, and my voice goes, hey. So, a little curious, but so far Zark has a slight income advantage, just a single K in the grand scheme of things, not too noticeable, but he is threatening this cap over here, he is threatening uh, this cap over here, and he's threatening the airport. Now he killed one copter, and uh, it looks like he's only going to kill one copter, which is, you know, all right. Kills off that, kill, does not kill the tank, so that's going to come back to bite him, because that ain't dead. When you leave the Andy units alive, they ain't dead. They come back with a vengeance. It looks like he's going to use his power this turn. Um, why did, he should have, okay. Anyway, so he kills off the tank. This is pretty decent, decent Andy power. Ooh, reaches over there. Reaches for the cap. On his weak side, a little too fight. This is, this is Zark's strong side. There's, there's two bases over here, bud. Yeah, um, I don't know about that move. This is pretty ambitious if I'm red. I don't like the, the looks of it. You're, you're pushing over here. Good. You shouldn't push at the same time. Piston. Attack one place, pull back. Attack, pull back. Attack, pull back. Like I said, the one-handed, the two-handed punch. Boom! <laughs> Stupid. You punch with one hand. Now. See what Zark can capitalize on this. That was a strong and uh, superpower though. So, uh, Zark's got, he's on the back foot. But, he weakens a copter. That didn't make too much sense, but okay. And he kills off a tank. Kills off another tank. He's gonna build double anti-air now. Does have the income advantage. He's doing pretty damn good, because uh, Quizzical's level of health is not very good. He's only at 60k. Day 12. He's just been sacking his units back and forth, which is exactly what Kindle wants. Kindle wants less units, less income, more battles, 
No proliferation for bigger superpowers. You just want to wear them down, wear them down, take the chess pieces off the board. That's what Kindle wants. Kind of like Max. You want to take all those eagle units off the board before the superpower comes. So Zark is loving it. He's trapping this copter. Not really. He's can kill oh no the tank can't reach because he has a power so we'll see how that goes but i don't know about that trap it's not too much of a trap i'd say but red he's not doing too bad on the left side at least copter going for the kill over here yeah i mean he's andy so it doesn't really matter that much and kills and there is no anti to punish that copter so these anti are a little bit late they came in a little bit late to the party. Build tanks, 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 tanks. Kind of needed to have some more anti in there. Uh, so Zark a little out, caught flat-footed. There's three, four copters on that side over there. And both anti are out of position. So that's kind of a sad state of affairs. But uh, Zark doesn't give half a sharp nugget. He's going for the attack. Anti or not. He's building a beefy old medium tank over there. Because that, that airport is about to get captured. There is nothing around. There's a 6 HP. Luckily, it's not a full HP one. There's a 6 HP infantry over there. There is a anti over here. So he can build a copter this turn. He needs to build a copter this turn. But he doesn't build his copter this turn. Because he's about to get Antifort locked. But Zark still does have the income advantage. Uh, and the unit value advantage. But Quizzical does have the unit count advantage. Which is the most important indicator of who's winning. And he's going for the caps. He's going for triple cappies. Triple cappity wappies. And uh, he's not even bringing his anti over here for some reason, which is, you know, I'm curious. And he... Dude. There is an anti literally right there. He... <sighs> okay. Okay. That's literally just dead. Okay, here's Urban Blight. Here's the power, let's see how much it does. Okay, it stops these two caps, which is actually pretty nice. Medium tank will be able to interrupt. Sneaky little shyst over here, but he will be able to get attacked by this copter. And the Andy copters, you love copter and copter violence if you're Andy, because you're gonna bring them down to three, you're gonna take some two, three damage back, whatever. Then you just hyper upgrade that shit, and you're good as new. Don't need to worry about even building a new copter. So all these little weak three, seven, yeah, nine, who gives half a shit? You're popping that hyper upgrade. They're going to 10, they're going to eight, they're going to nine. You're fine. But, wait, what the literal flop? He's not even attacking the copter. He's scared of that tank. All right, whatever. And uh, Quizzical, I mean, Zark is going for the middle push. He's abandoned the strong side, weak side. He's just going for the middle. He's trying for the little pincer strike. He's going, reinforcing over here and trying to push it back over there, which is, it's an option. It's an option. Uh, but we'll see how it goes from. Builds another big old medium tank. We got two big beefy boys. Let's see what uh, Andy does. Andy is the one who wants to tech up though. Andy wants the Neo tanks. Andy wants the bombers. Andy wants the Neo tanks because you can't kill them. They're really hard to kill. They take two, three artillery shots, a bomber shot, four air or uh, battle copter shots, and they need hyper upgrade. And they're not good as new, but you know, five HP ain't nothing to sneeze at. So. But right now, Quizzical's doing good on the unit count, so you better watch out. And it's just getting worse. And all the copters, they're migrating to the west for the winter. And uh, this me Neo tank, like I said, teching up. Beautiful decision by Quizzical. Beautiful decision. Tech up to the medium tank. I love it. Not the bomber, the Neo tank. Smart move. How the hell is he going to kill that? Two medium tanks? Uh, they're not going to kill the ne Neo tank unless they're from a city. I think a Neo tank lives two medium tanks if it's on a city itself. And then you just hyper upgrade that shit. You just allow this copter to die. Which is, you know, is what it is, but. So Zark is uh he's gonna be able to kill some of those units, but I can guarantee you that tank is dead to that Neo tank. That's a one shot if I've ever seen one. But there's a little shit stains over here in the corner over here. Trying to trying to cap, but uh, I don't think they're gonna be able to do that. There's way too many copters, and he's building. So he, he decided to go Neo Tank over there, and that's a little curious decision. I think he needed to build another anti over here, and, or maybe shift this one over to the side. He's trying to do a pincer and kind of capture the three copters in between each other, play uh, hi, uh, cat and mouse or something, but now he's doing a little shift because he sees the Neo Tank and he's pulling back over here. Smart move, actually. You do want to move away from the Neo Tank. You only have tanks. You're not going to be able to handle that Neo Tank. 
I am liking Quizzical's position a little bit. I mean, he's behind by 50k, but he's gonna get some free kills this turn. He's gonna be ahead on unit count. He's gonna be, oh, he's only behind 3k on the uh, income. Yeah, so the mechs are doing something. So the thing about Quizzical, he's got unit count. There's one infantry, one medium tank, one medium tank. Look at all these units over here. There's like 10, 12 units. Quizzical's got numbers. It's hard to handle, even though these are so much stronger than all these. There's just too many little things to keep track of. They're just so annoying. Like a bunch of bee stings coming, like a big bear, like, but like a bunch of bees, like, like you just can't handle them all. They're just too many of them. So you better hope your ball sack you kill that because he's coming back next turn to six HP. So luckily for Mr. Zark over here, oh, that's not gonna be great. That's coming back to health. That's coming back to life. And okay, because you're gonna see a quizzical super, I'm, I'm almost certain. Double Neotanks. I mean, Zark can afford it. He's got the Mun Muns. He's got the Mun Muns. He's got the contested properties. He's got this property over here. Well, wh where's the difference at? This Min one right here. Yeah, Red should have this. Red doesn't have to capture this yet. Zark had that for ages. But the mechs, man, I, can, I think the mechs are the root of all evil in this game. I also, uh, I don't like that. Even if you use Urban Blight and attack, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's a free hit as far as I'm concerned. Neo tank attack as far as I'm concerned. All right. I don't like that. I would have attacked the uh, medium tank and then used your hyper upgrade. Boom, bla boom. Bring it down to like three HP or some shit. Then hyper upgrade. Make sure you're at a hundred percent defense. Um, late hyper upgrade. I would have attacked these things before. Um, Okay, so that thing came back from the... Well, it wasn't dead, but... Kill off the anti-air. Good, smart. Attack the anti-air. Because he's building neotanks. By building those two neotanks, he's neglected his right strong side. He hasn't built anti-air. This is part two. He forgot to build anti-air the first time. And then he forgot again. This is Zark's thing. He's winning on all these other fronts, but he keeps forgetting anti-air. And their goddamn Quizzical loves his copters. There's so many copters. So many copters. And they don't die. But here comes an Urban Blight. Bagoonga. Uh, kind of weak. It gets the copter, it gets some artillery, but it's nothing great, really. It's Hopefully he has a good attack out of this. Okay. It enabled that. Uh, it's some infantry kills, really. Not not really terribly much. And these cop, this copter can attack. This cop, these, All three of these copters can attack over here, and there's nothing really threatening at all. So Quizzical's still in a pretty decent position. Kills that off. I would have retreated that, to be perfectly honest. Um, but hey. Getting a little offensive over here. Getting for the airport lock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he cannot reach the anti-air, thankfully for him. Although, okay, that's fine. There's a forest. This is a forest, so it calms him down a little bit. Can't quite reach that infantry. I don't think it's a one-shot anyway, but it would be close. Going to interrupt the cap rather than killing the... Ooh, okay, that's not even close. It's 12? Dude, if it's 12, I would have just gone for the tank kill here. Why are you even attacking the infantry? It's not even a threat right now. Interesting. Okay. And then... You lose the goddamn tank, man. If you brought that back and you healed, you'd have an hyper upgrade and it's good as new. But... Whatever. So we're seeing a push over here. Red's, Red's starting to get a sense of a push. He's been on the defense of this whole game, but now Quizzical is like the mythical Quizzical. He's like, I'm ready. Let's get physical. Ooh, you like that? The mythical Quizzical. He's ready to get physical. But is that his goal? Is it goal? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying to keep up the rhymes. It ain't easy being cheesy. All right. So he kills off an infantry with an anti, which is extremely curious. Let's see what his plan is. Literally, kill off an infantry and sack this. That makes zero damn sense, man. That makes zero damn sense. But whatever. Okay, Quizzical is at least closing out on the income gap. He can threaten to capture one of these two properties soon. He's got artillery. He's really proliferating artillery right now. Really proliferating. Okay, barely... 
Uh, okay, but I guess he gets a... Ugh, it's not well defended at all. I feel like this is gonna melt in the middle. Mm. Okay, we'll see what, what Zark can do. Free Antair. That literally makes zero sense. Kills the Antair. Kills... See, these are all free kills. Like, these artilleries are zoning, but they're not protecting all the units. They're protecting half of them. Beats the airport lock. That Honestly, that artillery or that anti air attack on the infantry made less than zero chance. It, it was like a negative sense rating that just didn't work out. But now we're seeing anti-air. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four anti-air. I don't know why this one's quite over here. This copter maybe trying to cut it off, but not really a threat over there. But eh, why not? He's been burned, so he's building all these anti-air at this point. Oh my god. The story of this game. Red, if you're listening, you're strong side, you've been passive, you've been building max, you've been building artillery, you haven't been doing shit over here. Zark has been pushing over here. He's got an income lead. He's been pushing, he's been pushing you on the offense on the defense of this whole entire game, and now you're being pussyfooting around over here. Four artillers. It's scary! But like He's gonna capture this if he's if he's build a T copter and get that infantry. That's what I would do, build a T copter, recapture that, because for artillery, I mean, it's scary, but they're kind of defensive. They're not really imposing on you. They're kind of just holding back. And then you got to worry about the air units. You can build bombers, you can build copters. There's no, you have to build anti-air. It's like a whole thing. So I don't really agree with that. So like, oh, don't hurt me. Real, real dabbler over here. Going for a super offensive over here. I do not, literally giving up two copters for what? Kill off the tank, but like, it what? What? <sighs> That's a free copter. Boom. Boom. Okay. See, this is just... What do you... There's nothing. Zark has a lot more threats than Quizzical. He has less units. He's got more uh, unit uh, value, but like... I just don't like it. He's got no threats. Ooh, Neo Trap. Neo Trap. Bring that over here and bring the artillery. Yes, yes. Bring this Neo over here. Bring this Neo over here, for God's sake. Okay, okay. Is there a way out of the trap? Yeah, there is. It's actually quite easy. That was. It's not even a trap. I wanted to get you guys' blood going for a bit. Oh! No, it's, it's not even a trap. It's a pathetic trap. It was a, there was an attempt, though. I'll give him that. There was an attempt. Too damn easy. Boonga. He's actually on the offensive. That Neo Tank comes out swinging. He ain't scared. And look. Quizzical. Don't look now. He's going for the equal income. And if you... God forbid you interrupt that. Hyper upgrade. Bring back 5 HP. Maybe that's what we'll see. Whoa. Why? Why? He's building all these slow, clunky units. Artillery 5 movement. Medium tank 5 movement. Missile 4 movement. Treads. Or tires, rather. Like, how many turns is this going to take to get up to that airport? To lock it? 6 turns? 5 turns? I just build an anti like the rest of us, dude. Try to be contrarian, like, whatever, but... Maybe he's memeing, I don't know. Doesn't make sense, though. Now, look at him, he's backing up again! Oh my god. Backing up. Urban Blight, I was hoping for the harsh side hair. But we're not seeing that. Hmm. See if you had... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, even if you had an anti it wouldn't... Well, from here, you would reach. So, that's just dumb. Well, no, actually, you wouldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you because this is a river. So this is a free hit. Good on Zarky for noticing that. And now Zarkster over here, he actually pulls back. Puts these. That was kind of a bad urban blade. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was pretty pathetic urban blade. I would have held on to it for another turn because it didn't really accomplish much. Sure, it stopped that for a turn, but it's not really that important. Um. You don't really attack anything. You usually want to use your powers to attack. Even if it's an urban blight, you want to go in and get your extra 10% firepower, extra 10% defense, and actually do some damage rather than like knock 3 HP off at all your enemies' uh, units on bases and shit, and then like call it a day. You don't want to be doing that. Uh-uh. So. 
Finally, the artillery are moving forward. Look at them, look at them go. Yeah, the death ball's moving. So he has to back up now, but he's gonna get that cap. Looks like, I don't see any way he's gonna stop that. So Zark's income advantage is going to get higher unless Quizzical can even up over here. Copter goes in the middle. Zark now is the 4K income advantage. Not too bad. Behind on Antarv, story of the game. I think Zark would have won by now if he had proper anti-air management. He just forgets to get it too late. They're out of position. He sacks them, etc. The anti-air should be over here. And maybe in the middle. He had like one over here that didn't make any sense at all. Uh, so I don't know about that. But he's just lack of anti-air awareness. And I like this. I like this. If that was an anti-air, whatever. You could kill that. But now it's blocking everything. So everything blocking. You can't get past that copter. Get that copter a Best Buy gift card. $5 Best Buy gift card. Hell yeah. So, honestly, could have trapped the copter, I would think, maybe. Mm, you popped it. Nah, I probably would die. Never mind. But whatever. Would have been cute. Now with... Okay. I don't know why these are withdrawing. Kind of let's rid of all the... Th I know he's afraid... Of a, of a superpower, but still, I don't know. And here it comes. Bye bye, Antair. Yeah, okay, never mind. I didn't see the tank. Yeah, you want to run that way. Run your ass away. Quizzical will be getting physical right now. And he's pushing. He's pushing on the left now. Push it. Push it. Boom. Bang. Gunda. That's how the song goes in my head, at least. And a Quizzical. He's only behind 2k. He's getting. He's got the unit count. The most important. He's only got one Neo tank, but he's got one medium tank. Because Ark definitely has the tech up advantage. He's got three damn Neo tanks. He's got two damn medium tanks. He's got the big beefy boy advantage. But what Quizzical does have, a big push on the left side and the strong side. He's got the anti-air. He's got the missiles, which is, you know, whatever. He's got four artillery. He's got one medium tech and a bunch of little infies. So, we'll see what he can do about that free hit over there. Yeah, because he's got three Neo tanks. Like, what are you going to do to that? Just bring them all over and then threaten Red. Like, what would Red even do? Another Urban Blight. Is this going to do significant... That literally did 6k of damage. That did 6 fucking k of damage. Stop pressing powers as soon as you get them, unless you have a play for them. Oh my god. Unless you can somehow- <gasps> Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe you can reach that. Maybe there's a play. No, there's no play. That was just dumb as shit. Oh, that's his own Neo Tank. I thought this was a red Neo Tank for a second. I was like, oh, he can get the hit up. He can't. That was just dumb. Bad Urban Blight. Bad Urban Blight. Not sleeping tonight. Bad Urban Blight. Just not- doesn't make sense. But Red, he's pushing. He's got the missiles. He's got the four artillery. This is a nice methodical push. However, um, he didn't get the Deej memo. When you're going all out on one vehicle or one side of the map, you want to pull back on the other. He's attacking on both sides. He's got four copters over there. He's got a Neo tank. He's got a tank. Pull the fluff back over here, man. You're going crazy. He's attacking into it. Why? Why? Oh lord, now, now he's gonna get punished. And there's a rocket, okay. Whoa, 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 he's attacking. And they're both attacking on the, the weak side. Okay, that's not a terrible push, but like, not good. The Neo tanks are scary though, how are you gonna, how are you gonna fight that? And there's three anti-air over there. Captured, threatening capture, this is gonna be captured. There's no way you don't capture that gonna be up to a 4k again. Neo tanks going in over here for some reason now. Not quite understanding that. I would want to cut these off these units off over here and go for the kill. Instead he's going to the base for the base rush maybe? Not entirely sure what that's all about. Don't quite agree with that. Um, but he's Zark so whatever. Builds a Neo tank is Andy. He saved up the Mun Mun. Neo or Mega Tank. Excuse me. Mega Tank. I barely say it so I don't even know what the hell it is. So that's scary, so these guys gotta back up. So what's the point of that anyway? You should've cut off these units. At least you made them spend a bunch of money on a junk ass unit. You could kill this anti-air and this Neo Mega Tank won't even be able to reach you. One, two, three, four, five, or whatever. You attack them over here or some shit. 
or I left. Just don't, just don't go to the base over there. Come on, don't, don't bay ru base rush. Just get the airport lock. Make some, some bungling errors over here. I don't quite agree attacking into this with all the, the units. Although he did do it pretty decently well because only one artillery can reach. Uh, so we, we will be able to kill one medium tank. And he finally gets the lock with the missile. And he will be able to kill on the copters. So it's not terrible. He uses a hyper repair mid turn. That yield 3,500 funds worth of units. What are these shitty powers? Hold the damn powers till they're good. Why? Why? There was... This dude getting impatient. This is making no sense. He's just sacking his units at this point. He's going all in on his weak side. He's attacking all in on his weak side. He's attacking all in on his strong side. Here's another Urban Blight. Neotank's just running away because the Mega Tank is so useless. It's going to take ages to get over there. Now everything's going to die. This is looking really bad for Quizzical. I don't care how physical he gets. He got, he got the airport lock. Woohoo! But everything is dead over here. He's down 73. Thousand, just oof. Well, okay, he's he's, he's down sixty thousand. Excuse me, but like, looking grim. And just like that, honestly, I would have resigned too. This is a useless ass mega tank. It's literally gonna take forever, and these units are gonna cut off the units over here, and this is gonna be a bloodbath. It's gonna cut off the supply route, and they're just gonna all die. There is no retreat. They're just all dead. That's it. Dead. 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 Now let's look at the stats, because that was, that was a funky game. Definitely 12 more deaths for Quizzical. He was just throwing out his units left and right. He had less generated funds and he had more deaths. That's just the recipe for an easy loss. He hyper upgraded some of the damages away, so it was a little bit closer than it otherwise would have been. But like the hyper upgrades were bad, the power was bad. I kind of like the missile buy over here, but so Zark. Bad anti-air management. He could have won the game so much earlier. So much earlier with good anti-air management. I think he overall played better than Quizzical. Quizzical, passive as shit over there. Max, artillery. It literally took him to day 25 to actually exert any pressure over here. And by that time he was already, I don't even know what he was doing. Both players made the mistake though of attacking on their both sides at the same time. You don't want to do that. Attack on the strong side, pull back on the weak side or vice versa, you know, do something like that. If you're attacking on all sides, like, you're gonna win over here, yay! You're gonna get slaughtered over here. Slaughtered over here. Bad idea. Bad, 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 dead, 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 Just doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense. I thought we might see an HQ rush or an HQ cap, but we didn't even see that. So, yeah, the players played pretty decent at some times. Also, some like early blunders, like the recons didn't make any sense for red. I didn't like the recons. I didn't like the missile buy, I didn't like the mechs, I didn't like this undefended infantry just literally going in without any defense the first like turn. Like, the recon buy over here made no sense, this tank will easily be able to defend. Um, and, like, that's what it did, and then from that, Red lost all momentum in the middle. Never really gained that back, and he was down and come the entirety of the match. Which is normal for versus Kindle. Versus Andy and Kindle, usually Kindle will have the income advantage. It's a trade-off. Andy's gonna have the better power, the better late game. Kindle's gonna have the better income. But just throwing out his units and just like when you're Andy, you gotta play different than you normally play. Like for example, this little three HP copter, hide it away or some shit. Don't go fighting into it. And then there was like a tank, like three HP. Pull that back, heal that. But instead of healing it on the city over there. Oh, actually, that one lived. There was another one that you like literally kamikaze, though. I swear to God. You want to pull back your weakened units, because they will be able to fight with Avengers later on in the game. Was this one they didn't pull back? Yeah, pull that shit back. Pull that shit back. Yeah, so Andy, you have to have a different mindset. You want to conserve your units. You want to preserve your units. And then they will serve you in the future. When you use your hyper upgrade, so... 
Yeah, you gotta heal those up. He was only healing 3,000, 4,000, 7,000 with his hyper upgrades. The reason why? He was throwing away his he had unit advantage for... No, did he have unit advantage? Yeah, he did, I think. He had unit advantage for most of the game. But he kept throwing away his units anyway. You need to use your weak and little... Even pull back this one shitty HP mech. Pull that shit back. He can be healed. He can be made... He can be healed. <sighs> Just throwing him away. Anyway. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys were entertained. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.